Welcome! In this video we're going to show you how to import data from FamilySearch Family Tree. This is especially useful if you've never used another genealogy program and you're just getting started and FamilySearch Family Tree has data on your family and genealogy already uh, available in the system. In which case you can use our import feature to basically pull down as much information as you want into your roots magic file. Now to do this, while you could do this in a, an existing file with data already in it, mo for most people you'll want to start with a completely empty file. So you'll want to, uh, if you're looking at the welcome screen, click on the top link that says create new file or on the toolbar just click on the button that has the little blank piece of paper to create a new file. Okay, you give it a file name. I'm just going to call this imported from family tree. Okay, and then you have the checkboxes here. There is an option for family search support. And you want to be sure to check that. And if you're LDS, go ahead and click that LDS support. And instead of uh, importing information from another program, I'm just going to choose the first option to begin typing in my information. So I'll click OK, and this will create a completely blank empty uh, empty file that I can start adding people in one by one. But uh, once, I, once I've turned on that family search support, uh, I will have uh, this little family search tree up on my toolbar. I click on that and that brings up the family search central dashboard. Okay. Uh, which we had looked at in the last video using the auto match, but there's another button up here that says import. So I can click import and then I tell it uh, basically a starting person if I want to start with myself or I could give it the ID of a specific person and then I tell the number of generations of ancestors and the number of generations of descendants that I wish to import. Okay. Um, keep in mind these numbers can balloon up really quickly. So I am just for the sake of time, I'm going to bump these down to just three generations of ancestors and one generation of descendants. Okay, I'll click import and you'll see that it's importing names and everything coming in. And with that, it imported um, it imported about 81 people in just under a minute. And so now I have all these people imported from Family Search Family Tree. And you'll see if you watch that last video about matching up, I now have this blue tree next to each name, which tells me that these people, since they came from Family Search Family Tree in the first place, they are all matched up, ready to begin work. And that is how you import data from FamilySearch Family Tree into your Roots Magic file. 